spoke about rapport building we got a little bit understanding about it right now another technique that we can talk about today is anchoring what is anchor and is it related to rapport building how it can help me in nlp how nlp is made more powerful using anchoring all these questions and much more than that must be there in your mind so allow me to help you with few of the answers anchoring is something which makes us be there you know the anchor that we use with ships so it helps ships to stay there right so similarly anchor is something in which we can stay at a particular state of mind when we are talking with respect to the nlp it's staying with something with some particular state uh using the anchoring now anchoring is everything everything is anchored to us even this camera on which i am speaking with you the medium which i am using to speak with all of you is also my anchor if i am comfortable with it if i am able to speak comfortably in front of it whenever i see this camera again i get that state of comfort in my head why because i felt comfortable wherever i was with this camera similarly on the other hand if i feel nervous when i am in front of this camera next time even if someone says that okay let's click a photo this camera will come into my head and then i will start feeling the same nervousness right why because the state of discomfort is related to this camera similarly everything that is there works as an anchor to us now there are so many ways to create an anchor creating an anchor is also a very tedious technique in nlp it is the most technical technique in nlp i would like to share this with you and i will never recommend any of you to go through some books or to go through some uh, unauthorized uh, videos where you can get the do's and don'ts and do it you need a specific practitioner or a trainer who can guide you to learn it because it's extremely powerful and if it goes wrong it can actually create a reverse effect of what actually we wanted and we don't want the reverse effect we actually want something which is resourceful so in order to create the anchor if i don't recommend you that without a trainer you don't get into the anchoring so then what is the use of sharing this information of anchoring with you the use is that when everything is our anchor then why not make the use of various things to create those states to get into those states which make me resourceful remember which makes me resourceful i'm not talking about happy excited because sometimes happiness is also not a resourceful state right so whatever is the resourceful state for me i must get there so one of the easiest way of creating an anchor is the auditory anchor maybe a song a tune a tone that whenever you listen to it you feel at home you feel resourceful and fruitful so if that is the case today i will invite you to actually think of some song think of some tone think of some tune that actually brings in that resourcefulness in you and keep it in your head next time whenever you feel dull whenever you feel low get that tune playing in your head okay and you will see the different the entire state will change so this is how you can benefit yourself from this auditory anchoring that we spoke about and if you want to know some depths around anchoring how to do it what is the guideline behind it what are the things that we do not have to do when we are doing the anchoring thing then i invite you to my program of nlp practitioner and life coaching where you will get very deep into the understanding of all this and you will learn the expertise and mastery of creating the anchors not only for yourself but for others also so please take care and have a wonderful day ahead